Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to part two of today's stream where I just realized I forgot to put on my gloves. I forgot to put on my gloves. So I messed up that intro. That's okay though. That's okay. Y'all, this is a uh, new game plus number two, which means run through number three of Final Fantasy X-2. We've got some goals this run through. Okay, this is my fiend tail run through. So we're going to see all the fiend tails. Um, it's going to be a super time. It's going to be awesome. These are scenes that uh, you don't often see in 10 to play through. So this is probably something even if you've watched a lot of 10 to let's plays that you probably haven't seen. Um, in addition to that, we're going to get the enterprise uh, accessory. Okay, we'll show you all how to get that accessory. There's a unique way to get it. And it cuts you out of getting certain other accessories, you know, kind of like some of the other ones that we've done like um, Minerva's plate and stuff. We're also going to send Leon and A to the moon flow. And we are going to have a different culprit for the uh, uh, Mehen mayhem whole like thing in chapter five where a different person gets accused of messing up all the machina. We're also going to complete all of the blue bullet uh, abilities. So that's going to be the goal. We'll see if we do it. Some of them are really difficult. So we're going to try to complete all the blue bullet uh, uh, abilities or as many as we can. Also, so this is playthrough number three, new game plus number two. We're going to skip scenes this time. So I'm going to show you guys a lot of the skippable um, scenes that are part of the game. Okay, so that's the rundown of how this one is going to work. So, without further ado, here's the game. Okay, let's load up. Okay, we are going to do New Game Plus. And here we go. Can we skip this opening scene? Yes, we can. And it takes us straight to here. Not all scenes are skippable, okay? A lot of scenes in this game are not, but a lot of them are. So we're gonna skip all the skippable ones. Hey, give it back already. And we know how this song Boys. goes, so we'll go straight here. One in on this number, then show me your moves. Okay. Think you can keep up? Yeah. Leave it to me. <clears throat> Down to this tiny, tiny damage. This is so crazy. <laughs> Doing this little damage after being so OP. I can't hang. I can't hang. Oh, hi. What is it, lady? You got big meows for me? You got big meals? Yeah. Is that good? Good scratches? Lady's very excited about this fiend tail run. She says she's so much better than a fiend. Sorry! No time for an encore! Hold still! This game got all these people that look like Yuna. Yuna herself, Lynn, and LeBlanc. All of them, when they put on this dress sphere, they look like her. But when Riku and Pain put on the dress sphere, they look like Riku and Pain. How suspicious is that? But Yuna look like Lynn? LeBlanc look like Yuna? What? No. Craziness. Well, hi, lady. You, you ready to block the screen for me again? Yeah? It's so cute of you. There's a lady tail. <gasps> Got your tail. Oh, I better walk forward. Okay, I think I can skip this too, yes. Hello, lady. Hi. Can I clean your eyeball? Where's the imposter? There we go. Got your eyeball crusties. Thank you. We get an Ormi and Logos now. Yep, yeah, baby. Very good kid. Yum yum. It cannot be. It can be logos. It can be. Ooh. 
That's quite enough sniveling, boys. Persistent, aren't you? Give me my garment grid back. My grid? You give us back Uni's garment yeah. grid right now! Didn't you girls ever oh, learn to Oh, we're shit? skipping scenes, that's right. We can skip this yeah. scene. I was so distracted by petting lady. I forgot we were skipping scenes. But it won't be yours for long, loves. Oh, whatever, LeBlanc. I got this. And we're gonna be buddies soon anyways. This is what you get, LeBlanc. Don't mess with me. Wow. Get back here! Promise? Riku. Huh? What? What? Uh, what? Hey. Uh, uh. <laughs> Yuna! Mission complete! Oh, you know what was going on. Can I skip I this? I cannot frightened. skip this. Then, while I was dancing, something happened. I can skip there. Skip that one. When you skip the I scenes, sometimes you don't know what to do. Bench. That's kind of a downside of skipping them. So you have to kind of know what to do. Okay, so we are on the airship. We need to first set up our garment grids. We are going to use, where is it, Valiant Luster like we usually like to use. Um, but we're going to put some different things on it because everybody's going to basically be Gun Mage. Okay, so we need Gun Mage on there. I want to have Psychic on there as well. And I think, um, let's see, let's see what else would be good. Um, having Mascot on there would be good. I don't know, maybe Berserker? Okay, I think this is probably fine. This is probably fine. Alright, now everybody has Gun Mage because that's what we're gonna be leveling up. Okay, we need accessories as well. So let's do our favorite Crystal Bangle. Let's do Crystal Bangle and Iron Duke. Crystal Bangle and Iron Duke. And then we'll do Crystal Bangle and I don't know. We don't have another Iron Duke. <laughs> Maybe. Let's see. Maybe we do Crystal Bangle and Speed Bracer. Okay. All right, there we go. There's our new save data. So we got to talk to everybody to be able to proceed. So let's do that. This is pain. Can we skip these? We can't skip these. I look up to her as a sphere hunter, and also as a friend. I still don't know her very well. She's not exactly the talkative type. I heard she joined the Gullwings shortly before I did. 
Riku doesn't know much about her either. What now? Nothing. Still analyzing. Buddy and brother are can't skip this one old either. friends. Buddy says he I guess we can't. I guess we can't skip any of the little intros. When I told him I didn't remember, he seemed disappointed. Yuna, has my talking gotten better? He really has improved quite a bit. He told me that he practiced just so that he could talk with me more. And another festivalist. Let's go! Party! Party! All right. Having fun? End up with so many of those. You bet. It all be began when I saw this sphere of you. At least it looked like you. I couldn't say for sure. I thought I might find more spheres like it if I joined the Gullwings, so I did. Oh, in case you're wondering, the Gullwings are sphere hunters, and sphere hunters are, well, <laughs> this. We fly all over Spira. I'm really enjoying myself. Glad to hear it. For a while there, I was starting to feel like a kidnapper. <laughs> Don't be silly. I know everything. Shinra's an Albed. He's a real whiz kid. Alright, and I think we gotta go introduce to Barkeep, and then that's the last one. Then it will let us proceed. Barkeep! Ishuna, what can I do for you? Our Barkeep's a Hypella. No one knows his real name, so everyone just calls him Barkeep. Brother took him in, and now he works aboard the airship. See you soon. There we go. Go wings! Report to the bridge! Let's report to the bridge. Treasure sphere waves. They're coming from those ruins they found at Gagazet. All right, Gagazet hotspot. Now, we want to keep the girls' levels low because of what we're gonna do with how this fiend tail piece works, but I don't want them to be like so low that they're level like two or three, okay? So I want them to get just a few levels at first. So we're gonna have the girls complete the Mount Gagazet uh, mission. We're not gonna go grab fiends yet. Silent guardian of We're gonna go grab fiends after this mission. The clouds enshrouding the mountain began to if the fiend levels are too low, then it's annoying and difficult. Long forgotten ruins among its peaks. <gasps> hey, the rocks are floating! Don't tell me we gotta climb up that thing! Can I skip this? It's no not worries. letting me skip. I'll take you to the top. Can skip this part. Okay, here we go. Jumping tutorial. I already know. It shouldn't show you those on a New Game Plus. I swear. I think I said that last time. <sighs> oh, we're not getting a... Oh, can't skip that. Cross this way. Let's find another route. Can I skip this? No. Just great. Think this machina still works?
lets you skip other cutscenes that help that make you miss context, but these ones it doesn't for some reason. Can I skip that? I can skip the elevator falling. Okay. Oh, but I can't skip this one. Uh, LeBlanc! Remember that name well, loves. Ah, the thief. Whatever do you mean? Ugh, that's what I hate about amateurs. Maybe she'll go away if we ignore her. You! I heard that! Just as I was saying, amateurs, they have no concept of what it takes to be a true spear hunter. Okay, LeBlanc. Amateurs, weren't you following us? Following? <laughs> a mere coincidence. You was right, boss, as always. Indeed, following them has paid off splendidly. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh while you can. Alright, beat him up. Them again. I love uh I'm love doing this run as gun mages because look, they just all shoot. Right. Boom boom. Oh. The end. <laughs> And they look so cool doing it. Huh. And this is the thanks I get for going easy on you. Sure, LeBlanc, whatever you say. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Who does she think she is? <laughs> She's getting hurt. Mission on time. All right, we're gonna blitz it. Leave it to me. All right. Logos. You look a tad flushed. Why not stop to catch your breath? Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? You just gotta fight me instead. So rude. Time to do the climbing inside. Don't you love this? Just boom, one shot. One shot done. I'm so glad that we went through the pain of all those streams getting down to the bottom of uh, Via Infinito to get a second Iron Duke. So awesome. Or me, I coming for you next. Gonna one shot you too. Let's show the ladies a nice. For the scenes that I can't skip, I'll press the button to try to skip dialogue too this time. Should we get a third Iron Duke? <laughs> we maybe should. I don't think we have to go all the way down uh, via Infinito this playthrough. I do know we have to go a certain ways down for all the fiend tales that we want to do. 
there's actually quite a lot of stuff that um, we're gonna repeat in this run because it unlocks certain theme tales. You guys will see as we go through. Oh wait, this way. Haha. Uh -huh. Would uh, would you would you stop staring? We're just gonna leave you guys there. Don't worry, you have lots and lots of goons. Um, one of them will come get you. It's time to say hi to Boris. What are you talking about? We should have some of it right now since we just got this one. Take it back on the airship. We'll have a feast. It'll be delicious. Found it! It's obvious to the trained eye that spear's just a dud. Perfect for the dull wings. Oh, we're skipping, we're skipping. Oh, but we can't skip that one. <laughs> well, I cut you off, Yuna. Dun dun dun. We are the Winrar. Oh, we can skip it, good. And we can just totally ignore brother this time. Just, just, just step on him. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so anyways. Let's Analysis talk to Shinra. Complete. Wanna watch the sphere? <laughs> I don't think we get a choice. I think it's gonna try to make us watch it. We'll just skip the scene. Think it's worth anything? It's not very exciting. Yeah, I can't skip this one. Junk. But we can use it as a dress sphere. Woo! Incoming data. Go wings to your stations. Eh, hey, how long you plan on lying there? Yeah, I ignored you, brother. <laughs> You're excused. It's okay. What is it? The treasure sphere data you've been dying for. Oh, we can, can we skip this? Yeah, we can skip this one. All right, so we got our hot spots. We already know how this works. Okay, back to the bridge. That's where we're going. All righty, so we, um, what we're gonna do next is get started on how you do these fiend tales to get these extra scenes. So we're gonna go into the creature creator and um, we had a tutorial on it before, so I don't think we need to go through the tutorial. If you guys remember that, we did that during our very first playthrough. So we're gonna, we're gonna walk through it together instead of doing the official tutorial. So the first thing we need to do is go in and trap creatures. So uh, the way that we do that is we set our traps to the different areas. Now right now, we're just gonna have small traps. This is the yellow one down at the bottom. 
and every time you completely run out of traps, the game gives you another small or sometimes medium trap. Um, but we're just gonna fill up on ones that are that are the, the small traps. Okay, so I have a whole list. I have a whole list of uh, different uh, fiends that we need to catch during chapter one. In every chapter, there's new fiends that we're gonna have to catch, and we have to catch and level up all of them to get all the fiend tale stories. So uh, here's where we're gonna start with. There are some fiends that are dependent on other fiends, for example, there is uh, in Beaconel the killer hound that starts off this chain reaction of other fiends you can capture. So we're gonna try to capture some of these chain ones first. So since we only have one, one that it just um, it just does it and then it goes right into capturing. Okay, so we got killer hound. Yes, we are gonna allow killer hound into the gull wings, and I am just gonna continue continually cross these off on my list whenever we get them. Let's see, how do I? I'm seeing if there's a command in here for um, cross out. Maybe it's control shift S, no. Is there not a command in Google Docs for cross out? Yeah, I guess there's not. Okay, so I have to click up here then. Man, I don't have a good way to, to cross them out. I'll just italicize them. I'll just italicize the ones that we've gotten and I'll clean up my list in between streams. Okay, so that's a good one to catch first. Now, if we back out of here, we can go to set trap pod and it'll automatically see trap pod S. Okay, so we've got that. So another one that's dependent on other ones is this uh, Haiza in Makalania. So we're gonna do a small trap here. And we ended up with red elemental. So I wanna cross red elemental off of my list. I think he can appear in multiple spots. So I gotta look at where I have him listed under. Okay. I have him listed under Kilika, but that's okay. We do want him, because we wanna get all of them. So yes, we're gonna proceed. Set trap pod. Then we're gonna try Makalania again. Try to get the Haiza. There we go, we got the Haiza, yes. <clears throat> okay, I wanna go back to the menu for a second because I wanna show you guys. Oh, Trap Pot M this time, nice. So if you go into the develop creature here, um, oh wait, no, not that one. Creature history. It'll take you to this area. Now, um, you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight slots. Now these ones that aren't really fiends like brother, you can just go ahead and release them. There is no fiend tail. So I can go ahead and release brother. You can see creature, creature analysis failed. The reason that you might want to catch some of these people that aren't really fiends is because um, you can then use them in your party. So you can use all of these fiends in your party, which I'm gonna show you in a moment, but since our goal is doing is all of the fiend tales, we're not gonna use the people in our party. So we're gonna go ahead and release brother. Now, if we ever get empty on fiends, it automatically adds brother back in. That's just kind of how that works. So you can see now we have three of them and we have uh, five slots. So we can catch five more fiends, so let's do it. Okay, so we have a medium one that we can do. So, let me see, let me see. We can go and catch, let's see, let's go to Besaid. Let's see if we can get a medium fiend from Besaid. Okay, so we got an iron giant, nice. Yes, we're gonna allow him into the gull wings. Oh my gosh, my nose is so itchy today. All right, let's go back and set another. Okay, trap pod S. So to get any of like the chain reaction ones, um, we have to actually level up Killer Hound and Haiza. There's no other like chain reaction ones right now, but there is in Gagazette. So there are a couple random fiends that do not have a fiend tail, even though they are fiends. And there's one in Gagazette that's like that too. So I wanna see if I can get it. Okay, this is Flan. Palido. Okay, let's allow you into the gull wings. Done, yes. I don't change their names, um, but you can if you want to. 
Okay, trap pot S. We're gonna go Gaga's Z again to try to get this one. Okay, B Colette. Let's see, where is he on my list? Okay, B Colette was in Thunder Plains. Oh, trapping is complete. Yeah, we gotta back out. Okay, let's try Gaga's Z again. Okay, White Fang. Not the one I was looking for. He has an actual fiend tail. Okay, um, I need to go count how many I have again. Oh, a trap pot M. Okay. Okay, we have one more spot. Okay, let's try to use. Let's try to just do B Sate again for a trap pot M. Okay. Purpurea. Yes, allow you into the gold wings. Okay, so we are full up on fiends. We're full up, so there's really um, nothing that we want to, nothing else we want to do in there right now. What we do need to do is we need to adjust our party. So you can see all of these guys can now get added to our party. So the ones that have special um, progressions that we want to do, we're going to put those in first. So we're going to put in Killer Hound, and we're going to put in the Heiza. And then we can fit one more small fiend in here. So we're going to go ahead and put in Red Elemental. Now when we do that, we have to set up Garment Grids and Dress Spheres for them, right? So I'm going to use Valiant Luster, and if you give them different Dress Spheres, they can do different things and it changes their stats. So the um, Psychic gives them Telekinesis, which is awesome. Um, this one gives them White Wind to heal. This one gives them Ribbon. This one gives them Auto Regan, and this gives them Death Proof. And, uh, and a strength up. Well, no, he already, he already has strength up. Yeah, oh, M M Moogle Kyrja. Okay, so he can do that. No, he can always do that. What's, what's changing? Oh, darkness is changing. He can do darkness. Okay, but we're going to do Psychic. I, I, I kind of put, put Psychic on all of them um, for Chapter 1. No, I haven't gotten, like, ever all of the Fiend Tales, so, like, there might be other things that uh, that I'm not super privy to that are good to do. So, if y'all are watching and you have like thoughts on what I should be doing, please let me know. I would love to hear from you. We can also put accessories on them. So, we're gonna do that. So, it's probably good to put like crystal bangles on all of them and invincibles and things like that. So, let's go to the girls. Let's look at Yuna's equipment. And let's unequip. Oh, not invincible. Remove. Oh, I didn't. I shouldn't have cycled through that way because now it's going to force me. It's going to force me to put the dress sphere on him. Okay. Let's do it. All right, so let's equip Killer Hound. And let's do a Crystal Bangle, and let's see what else would be good for him. Mm. I guess the Speed Bracer is always good. And he's a fast guy anyway. Okay, the Heiza, Crystal Bangle, and then... I guess an Iron Duke, Crystal Bangle, and an Iron Duke. Okay, let's go do the Save Sphere so that we can refresh their health. All right, and um, to do all of this in regards to the fiend tails. We need to level them up like four or five times. So we've got a couple, and we've got a couple things that we have to do in each chapter because we have to unlock certain parts of the game 
for the ability to catch certain fiends in certain chapters like what you just saw. So we are going to head to Mushroom Rock Road because we need to get all of the Crimson Spheres. And there's a Crimson Sphere in Chapter 1 in Mushroom Rock Road that's missable. So we need to go do that. So we're going to go ahead and fly there. Even though this is an optional mission, it's not optional if you're trying to get all the Fiend Tails. Uh, now before we do that, side note, we're going to go back here and... Um, Oh, we'll see the scene from this angle. Where crusaders once marched toward battle with sin, while travelers fled from its shadow. It's the same, just with this I angle this instead. Too, on my pilgrimage to Zanarkand. And that's it. And you walked by my side. It was a journey filled with laughter. Ha ha ha. All right, the reason we came here is because I want to talk to this guy. Um, this is going to help us for accusing the prophet, is to actually come talk to him. I want everyone to agree with me, so I stop passers-by to spread the good news. Okay. I work with this gentleman in fighting for Chocobo rights. Would gladly help any inns to bring Chocobos back. I was on my way back from the Youth League headquarters and ran into these two. Okay. So talking to him there is very important for accusing him later in Chapter 5. So we we're just doing a little pit stop for that, that side thing. That doesn't have anything to do with the fiends. But this next part does. So, here we go. Ah, it's those cre creeps again. We need to go down into the Den of Woe to get Crimson Sphere 9. Good to see you again, Lady Yuna. What's up, Clasco? Yeah, I know you're sad about your life. So are you ready to run the gauntlet? Sure, yeah. Understood. Expect to encounter fiends until you reach the vicinity of the lift. Okay, Yibel, no problem. Fight your way through. That's it. Clasco? Uh, Clasco, show them the way. Uh, uh, of course. This way, please. All right, hey, Clasco, what's <sighs> up? You seem down. Oh, we can't skip this well, one. a lot has happened since you brought us the calm. We also need to unlock the Chocobo dungeon, so we're going to do all the Clasco stuff, too. League, so, did I. so again, there's but certain fiends without that dungeon that you can't guarded. capture. Uh, you know, all I want is to ride on a Chocobo faster than the wind. Faster than the wind. Okay, don't worry, Clasco. We're going to make your dreams come true. All right, so we are headed down to the Den of Woe. Let's fight our way there. We're gonna fight our way there with our fiends. There they are. It's Ormi and Logos. Okay, so here's our first battle with the fiends. So this is basically what it looks like. They will fight for you. What you can do is you can press in on the joysticks, like this, to make them more aggressive or less aggressive. If you make them all the way non-aggressive, they'll do a runaway. So that's all you really ever have to do, is just make them more or less aggressive. And um, most of the time, there's you don't really even need to mess with it. You just leave it like this, and if your fiends are in trouble, then you, you know, jack it down until there's no stars and they run away. But uh, yeah, it's kind of an auto battle situation. It's kind of an auto battle situation. And they'll destroy everybody. I've heard that there was like a mod that will let you actually control your fiends, but I have never found one that I could actually get to work. So I do not know how to do that, or if that's even truly possible, or if that's just a wishful thinking rumor. All right, so you see they're level five now. So we need to get them all up to like level nine or so, okay? And the reason why we want to keep the girls low is because whatever m level the girls are, that's what level your fiends are going to be caught at.
Yeah, your fire does nothing to me. Nothing. I win no matter what. Fiend's OP. Get him, Killer Hound. following you. And as you can see, like, the fiends kind of know what's up about some things. Like, you won't- I, even though I have a fire elemental, like, in my party, it's very unlikely for it to go and cast fire on the enemies because it knows it's going to heal them. So it won't do that. Oh, and the reason all my fiends have Mughal Kyrja is because of that garment grid. I forgot to say that. The garment grids also, whatever garment grid you equip them with also gives them certain abilities. In addition to whatever dress sphere you equip them with, giving them certain abilities. So Valiant Luster plus Psychic Moogle, gives them Moogle Cure Joint Telekinesis. Which is very helpful. inform the boss. Hey, they dropped something. Finders keepers. That's right. Crimson Sphere 9. Hey, long time no see. Remember me? Uh, no, I don't remember no anybody. It's can we skip this? Yeah. It's After me, you huh? answer him, you can skip it. What's up, Maroda? You gonna keep this staring place at it? This is off limits. Please leave. Okay, sure. I'll leave. All right, so let's traverse back out of here, and we do need to go all the way through to the Youth League headquarters, um, because again, we need to unlock the Chocobo dungeon. So going all the way through, and then going back to grab Clasco is the way to do that. Goodbye. Telekinesis is so OP. <laughs> they just they just delete them. Just say, see you later. Never again. Okay, I think it's level nine that they have to get to. So when these guys level up to nine, we'll swap out our party for different fiends. I'm pretty sure that's right. Oh, and the way you can tell your fiends from the other fiends is your fiends will have, like, this little blue light circle swirling around them. You can see that on these three. Let's see the little blue light encircling them. The enemy fiends will not have that. So that's how visually, like, you can tell which ones are yours and which ones are not yours. Oh my gosh, the camera. There we go. Camera loves to be difficult right here. 
and make me get all turned around. Get him, fiends. Okay, so we can swap Killer Hound out now for someone else. So let's take his, um, let's take his accessories off. And we'll put someone else in. So let's put in the Beacolette. All right, so Valiant Luster, Psychic. And Crystal Bangle. And yeah, we can give him the Speed Bracer too. I think that's a good idea. So he can be speedy speedy. Alright, Fiend, show him your moves. The girls aren't here to do little catchphrases, so I must do them. I love the Heisa. <laughs> Just AoE, everybody's gone. Alright, so our red elemental is level 9 now. And let's swap out then this guy. Okay, do I have something for like... Yeah, let's give him a Ragnarok. Reduces MP cost to zero. Do I have anything? Oh no, let's do this one. Spellcasting machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ring. The one ring. To blast them all. Hi, Queen. Y'all, my snacks are almost done. I can hear them. I can hear them. I'm gonna have to take a take a quick moment to go grab some in a second. Wings and sushi. Those are good good foods for for a cat girl. Yeah. <sighs> All right, Heiza should level up soon too. Goodbye. All right, so he's level nine, so we need to swap him out. So let's unequip. Okay, and then party members. Okay, is there anybody here that's not? Oh yeah, White Fang's not. Okay, so we'll put White Fang in here. And we'll give him Psychic as well. 
Let's do a Crystal Bangle and an Iron Duke. Okay, all right. I'm gonna pause the recording um, and put you on the BRB screen for like two minutes. Don't go anywhere. I'm just gonna go grab my snack because it's 2 p.m. So we did our breaks a little bit different today. I'll be right back, y'all. Okay, we're back. I have my snack. Let's go. Oh, wow. Lady Yuna. It's me, Elma. Doesn't I'm make so me remember long. her. That Elma, oh, Elma's free... MVP. Can I skip really this changed. though? No, I can't. Never better. Hey, you go on, step aside. Right, right away, away, Captain. Captain. <sighs> wow, look at you. <laughs> Mission complete. I don't think I actually need to go down there and do that scene. I think I can just go back at this point. Try something new, I screw it up. I just don't know what I want to do with my life. Oh, poor class. I don't know where I belong. I've spent my but I can't. I know that there's a place for everyone, and Lady Yuna, I want to find my place. Please allow me to ride on your airship. Okay, class, go. Oh, thank you so much. I'll find my true calling. You'll see. You're welcome. Okay, so that'll help us. <clears throat> Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to kind of focus on fiends for a moment. Everything. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so here's the goal of what we're trying to do. When we go to the creature history and we look at the different fiends, we want it to say story episode complete. And we want to choose release. But before we do that, we're actually going to read the story. I'm going to read this to you, okay? This is, uh, Shin this is Shinra's notes, okay? Fiend has no life readings. Shinra analysis. Something's not right. There's a protect spell on this creature. It's preventing me from properly analyzing it. Approximate age, 1000. How interesting. Fiend has no life readings. Shinra analysis. I've analyzed the creature. There's a strange identification code on the back of its neck. Looks like a machine identification code. Continuing analysis. Analysis failed. Fiend has no life readings. Shinra analysis. I've analyzed the code embedded in the creature. It's a soldier ID tag from the Bevel Elite forces in the Machina War a thousand years ago. The Bevel military inserted machine chips into fiends and trained them to be soldiers. This creature has stayed hidden for over 1,000 years as a living remnant of the Machina War. If you train it in the arena, I can analyze its memories. Exciting stuff. Okay. So you can probably see, this is the point. This is the extra scenes. It's adding to the lore of Spira and um, and some of the like things going on that maybe Yuna is not 100% privy to. So when you release it, you get these cool scenes. So we're gonna watch our first one. <clears throat> I 
Emergency! Emergency! The killer hound has escaped! Emergency! Emergency! The killer hound has escaped! The killer hound has broken out of its cage. But the cage is sealed by magic that can't be broken by fiends. It should be impossible for them to escape. <laughs> there was a machine chip embedded inside the fiend. It's possible the fiend escaped with the cage using machine powers. Incoming creature information. Unidentified creature reading in Xanarkin ruins. Unidentified machina discovered. Incoming creature information reacting to the remaining fiend soldiers of Bevel. The thousand year old Xanarkin army machina may have been awakened. It's connected. Something is happening to Spira. Trap pod target area is the Xanarkin ruins. So, you cannot do this particular one until we have a rare machine to catch. Until you've released the killer hounds. You see what I'm saying? Like, certain ones are like that. Okay, trap pod M has been supplied. Yes, we want that. So here's what it looks like when you haven't quite finished yet. You'll see some story levels, but you won't see the release option yet. So like these, that we leveled up some, we see some story levels, right? But these ones we finished, we'll see all of them. So like, let's look at the red elemental. Okay, so you can see we have all of his levels and it says release. I once served the great leader of the Guado, Jiskel. Do you know what became of the Guado afterward? Guado Salam is now under the influence of spear hunters. No sign of the Guado remains. They've even occupied the leader's home. What could have happened to the Guado? I see. So it was young Maester Seymour who... Oh, the horror of it all. In hindsight, perhaps the Guado had been cursed ever since that day. Ever since I escorted young Maester Seymour and the Queen Mother to Baj, Maester Jiskel had given me orders to serve as the young Maester's nanny. Mixing blood with humans is quite a taboo amongst us Guado. The persecution of Maester Seymour and the Queen Mother, who was human, was something not even Maester Jiskel could stop. By exiling them to Baj, he was able to keep the peace. That stormy night, we were sent off to sea, in secret, with only a handful of guards. Maester Jiskel was not there to see us off. The Queen Mother gazing towards Goddess Salam with the young Maester clutched to her chest is a sight I'll never forget. After escorting the two to Baj Temple, we set sail back to Goddess Salam. However, just as we were about to arrive, we were attacked by Sin and our ship had sunk. I was swallowed up into the ocean, yet was not sent to the far plane. When I came to, I saw that I had been turned into a fiend instead. I wandered through Sphira and finally found my way back to Guado Salam. I must report back to Maester Jiskel. Please, let me into his mansion. Okay, so you can see that's his story. There's some connections there to like Maester Seymour and his mom, because remember we find Anima, who is the queen mother here, in Baj. So there's some connections there about like why, as an Aeon, she chose to be part of the Baj temple, even though it was sunken. So let's release him and see the scene. Maester Jiskel. To this day, I have constantly asked myself this question. Did we really make the right choice the night of that storm? Oh, there's what he looked like as a guado. Or she, I don't remember if this is a lady guado or a guy guado. Young Maester Seymour. Oh, it's one of the lady, it's the old lady model, so it's the lady guado. I 
I can understand why you would feel resentment towards Maester Jiskel, young Maester. And it was I who, under Maester Jiskel's orders, took you and your mother to Baj. How you must hate me. I do not expect you to forgive me. I just hope that you finally found peace. I will not be visiting Trommel. It's best that I remember my husband the way he used to be. So there's the reveal. It's Trommel's husband. Trommel is her husband. That's just crazy. So, okay. So here's here's what you can kind of see from this is that these fiend tales, some of them are like what you would expect with the fiends being dead people in Spira, but some of them aren't. Like some of them are more complicated than that. So we've got all kinds of situations with these different fiends. All right, we have one more to watch. We have the Haiza. Okay. May I have a moment of your time? I promise, I'm not as shifty as I look. I just have something to tell you. You know how Machina have entered into our daily lives as of late? But did you know that developing these machines leads to the destruction of our natural environments? We Haiza need clean water to live. Because of the Machina, we're on the brink of extinction. The issue is how you, Machina users, treat nature. Machina raise mountains and reclaim rivers. Our home rivers have been despoiled too. That's why I travel around Spira like this, to raise awareness about the threat to nature. My hope is that no other fiend will have to face a sad fate like ours. We have little influence, but we banded together to promote our movement, to take back nature. Our leader is very anti-machine. He loves nature, and he says he can barely stand the sight of the defilers. We call him Old Man. Why don't you come meet him at our organization's next gathering? The Old Man is on the move. He's planning a demonstration on the Meehan High Road. He calls it Clear Aqua Project. Thanks to you, I've grown strong enough to be a significant help to the movement as well. It's hard to convince the machine faction, but I've decided to work with the Old Man. Would you like to come? So some, um, some fiends, I guess, are you know resigned to their lot in life as fiends and they're not so worried about their past life. So let's see what, what's happening with him. <clears throat> Today is what I endured all those days of training for. Machines are the reason that our rivers have been become polluted. I've come to the Ma Meehan High Road today to protest the use of soulless machina. And this is the old man. Oh, it's other Haiza. <laughs> A passionate anti-machine activist and our fearless leader. I've come today with the old man for an anti-machine rally. I hope that our passionate voices will resonate with many people. All right, should we get started then? We will show those who pass by here the terrors that machines can bring. Commence the Clear Aqua Project. Don't pollute our water with Machina. Machines are our enemy. Uh, would you like to support the anti-machine rally? What is this then? You don't want, I don't, we don't want whatever you're selling. <laughs> They don't give two fucks. Who do these fiends think they are? <laughs> Weird. <laughs> what? Ah, oh, look, the fiends are getting all mad. Run. Hey, come back here. <laughs> so wait, so some fiends just don't attack people? Get me out of here. You're a nuisance. Ah, fine. Telepathy then. I'll use telepathy. We'll directly relay our passion to everyone in Spira. Yes, sir. <laughs> so wait, is this why? Mommy, what's that? Shh, avert your eyes. <laughs> I should have known the high road wasn't safe. Too many strange fiends lurking about. Let's take the hovercraft to Luca. Oh my god. Wait, so is this why... Like, people still walk around even though there's fiends everywhere. Like, there's not really fiends everywhere. Summoners are just supposed to go fight them to quell their numbers. That's crazy. Old man was blown away. Far, far away. 
Why those no good humans? You try to play nice and this is what you get? Well, this will not stand. We will have our revenge. The revenge of the Heiser is about to begin. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so this makes sense. So this one leads into the Deep Heiser. To continue the clear Aqua Story revenge, capture the old man Deep Heiser and make him stronger. Okay, we'll do it. Yes, let's get the L pod. Okay, so we have lots of traps now. So you can see your traps line up at the bottom. You can only have so many at once. So that's why it's always asking you if you want them, because maybe you only want certain kinds of traps for what you still need to get. All right, the special traps we definitely want to use on capturing the humans first, because even though we're not gonna do a fiend tail with them, we still want to capture and release them for the credit. So, in Besaid, there is a human we can capture. So, let's do it. And I'm going to go ahead and press the roundup. I'm going to round up after each one instead of, you know, doing multiple because it's just harder to remember. So here you go, it's Lulu. So you can let Lulu into the gull wings. All right. So then the next one for after the killer hound is apparently, okay, it's the Xanarkin one. So it's a medium one in Xanarkin. So let's go down to Xanarkin. Oh. Yeah, set trap pod. Okay, so let's go down to Xanarkin and set a medium. Okay, so we got, yes, this is him. Okay, this is who we wanted to get. Okay, apparently the deep Haiza is also medium, so we can't capture him right now. So we have a small and a large left. Um, let's try to get... There's a large on Besaid that we definitely want to get. Flame Dragon. Yes, that's what we wanted. Yes, allow him into the gull wings. Done, yes. Okay. Let's go back to the menu. So then we're going to go to our creature history. And remember, humans, we can release immediately. Lulu Excellent. doesn't... Excellent. She does not have a fiend tail. Excellent. So yes, we can release her. Some fiends you can also release immediately. Um, the flame dragon, I think might be one of those. Let me just check how he is. Yeah, creature analysis failed. This fiend lives to fight. So there are some fiends that will say this and you can just release them immediately. Now some of them unlock things, like he actually unlocks um, something for us. Uh, for the Aeon Cup, for those, those trials, he unlocks Ifrit. But, um, you know, we're not that far in the cups yet. But anyway, we can just release him. We don't have to fight with him. Okay, so let's go back to trapping. So we have two spots now. Okay, we have a small. Um, what do I want to get with the small one? I guess let's try to get... Let's try to get some of the Meehan High Road ones. Okay, a wild wolf. We do need that. Yes. Okay, let's do another Meehan High Road one. Oh, a chocobo! Okay. Apparently the chocobo is supposed to be kind of hard to get. Um, and we are going to end up needing to catch a second chocobo. Uh, but we're going to catch just one for now for his fiend tail. All right, because I'm pretty sure he has one. Like, let's actually let's go look at the chocobo and make sure he has a fiend tail. According to my notes, he does. OK, yeah, 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 he does. But we end up we do need a, a chocobo, so we'll catch a second one at some point. OK, so for leveling these up, um, there's not really anything else that I want to do without the girls. So what we are going to do to level up is try to get some of the fiends that like are in the fiend arena that you can fight um, 
for getting them oversold. Okay, so like here, let's return to the airship. <coughs> I know everything. If I go into Shinra's bestiary, I'll see what I want to see. Okay, yeah, so I don't think I have, yeah, so Flanazul, I don't have that oversold. But you can fight Flanazuls in the arena. I know everything. So we're going to fight Flanazuls over and over until we get a, yeah, until we get an oversoul of them. And we'll do that to level up our monsters. So battle simulator, and it should be called impressions. Yeah, this very first one. Okay, so let's battle. Yes. And our fiend should be able to take this out without really any issue. Okay, we do it again. We just keep doing that until the plan is dual oversouls, and then we kill the oversoul. So that gives us that credit. So remember, we're doing everything, and there is still one garment grid we haven't gotten, and it's that one. So we're gonna try to make some progress on it. We don't have a goal of getting that garment grid this run through, but we can at least make some progress on it through leveling up our fiends this way. Well, I don't think I've ever explained this on stream, but the way that the Oversouls work is you have to have defeated so many of that type of fiend. So if you defeat a certain number of flans, the next flan you fight will Oversoul. And as far as how many of the different things you have to kill, every type has a different number of, like, that type. So, like, maybe you have to kill 10 flans for it to oversoul, right? But then you have to kill 20 of the wolves to get them to oversoul. Well, those are made-up numbers. I don't have those numbers memorized, but that's how it works. And so this is an easy way to get those oversouls is by doing the arena ones that you can just fight over and over this way. And we'll just keep going until this party gets to level 9. <clears throat> oh no, Koneko! Dad tested positive for the big C, that sucks. Hey, is there a lot of like colds going around in your country right now? Over here, it feels like everybody is getting sick with something. COVID or otherwise, there's a lot of non-COVID too. Like, I don't know, like I, I saw a theory that after, you know, after the pandemic and everything, all of our immune systems are just like, they're just shot. They're just like done and they can't handle nothing anymore. And so everyone gets so sick. Which I guess is kind of true for me, too. Like, I do think I get sicker than I used to when I get sick. And I don't know if that's, like, legitimate or if that's just, like, <laughs> trauma. 
<laughs> from how awful COVID was, you know? I don't know. But I do think it's true. Okay, so we got Oversoul and the Coyote. I don't know if I needed Coyote Oversoul, but we have it now. <coughs> oh, and the cool thing about fighting in the arena also is um, your guys will heal after every single battle. Koneko, is he where he can, um, you know, take a few days off and rest and stuff? And, like, get better? Because if he can do that, maybe he can get better fast. Yeah, there's a lot of colds going around so far. All typical for the season, though. We had restrictions mostly lifted earlier. So most people have had their bad colds last winter, myself included, or in early fall. That makes sense. Well, I got my flu shot. Okay, I got my flu shot. He's between jobs. He only has a few at-home meetings. Oh, good, good, good. So he can rest up. Yeah, stuff is definitely going around. A lot of non-COVID stuff is going around. It's been crazy. A lot of sniffly coffee people, you know. Come on, Flanazool. Oversoul for me. <coughs> I'm gonna have to have to have to keep a close eye on my own health because I was planning to go Christmas shopping with my partner next week. Oh yeah, yeah. Good luck. Good luck. All my Christmas shopping's online. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm not just not even gonna... I'm not even gonna risk it. I'm just gonna do it all online. I mean, I've already done some. I got my husband his Christmas gift. And I'm taking a trip with my parents for their... For, like, collective gift, you know? There he goes! He oversold! Well, I hope you don't get sick too, Koneko. Sending you good vibes to stay well. Okay, let's back out of here. And I want to make sure that the Flanazul triggered the way I wanted it to. I know everything. I want to hang out with my partner because they'll be on vacation in a few days before Christmas. I'll be on vacation after that. Oh, and our anniversary is between Christmas and New Year's. Oh, yeah. Oh, an early anniversary day will be so cute. How many years are you going on, Koneko? Okay, what was I looking for next? Oh, yeah, I'm looking to see... Okay, so Flanazole, you can see it's highlighted now. So we need to see if we have Arimans. I don't think... Let's see... Oh, I probably passed it. No, I guess I didn't pass it yet. No? Oh, there we go. Okay, I have Aerie Min already. This will be seven years if my math is correct. That is amazing. Me terrible at a time trying to do my time. Me too, me too, every time. Seven years, wow! I didn't realize it had been that long. I mean, I knew you had a long-term partner, but I did not realize you've been with him for seven years. Wow, congratulations to you both! That is amazing. That is such an accomplishment, you know? That is such an accomplishment. That takes a lot of, um... That takes a lot of, like, coordination 
and, uh, and compromise and communication and all those good things. All right, we do not have um, the white elemental uh, oversold though, so we can go fight that in the arena. So let's do that one. <clears throat> let's see. Uh, yeah, creature creator to get to the arena. All right, so that one is Highway Star. There we, oh, there it is, the Highway Star. Okay, so this is a Gecko, a Nashorn, and a White Elemental. Let's go. I can't believe that. Seven years is such a long time. Wow. Yeah, y'all definitely have to do something. Oh, you know, if you've gone on seven years at this point, like, ten years and stuff is going to be here before you know it. That's so cool. I'm so impressed by that with how like chaotic and crazy our world is that um, people are able to still stay together, you know? I think that's a really, um, that's a really difficult accomplishment to make. Come on, you guys can do it. You can tell, yeah, you can telekinesis the Nashorn. I, I knew it. I knew you could do it. <coughs> He's gone! Okay, and I, it seems like these guys give more experience. <clears throat> I wonder if the white one is in is in the Elementrio group. That might be better to do the Elementrio group, because I know, I'm sh pretty sure I saw gold and yellow elemental also I have not done. You go check that one. Okay, eight, only one more level on those. Let's see, who's in the elementary -o? Oh, I must have to actually do the I must have to actually do the um tournament to unlock that one. I don't see it. Okay, we'll keep going with Highway Star. We're getting decent XP from it. <coughs> Even though we beat some of these tournaments before, we have to go re-beat them to have the individual ones show up here. Okay, they're all level eight. Um, let's go and do the tournament. Yeah, let's do standard cup, yes. We need to beat each of these once to unlock more of those fiends in there. Yeah, I don't see elementary go here. They must be on the hard one. Love when he can cast Flare. And it's good to do these tournaments because you can see we get the Trap Pod S. It's P. Special. We need some of those. <clears throat> All right, come on, get get these guys.
Delete them. Yes, give me that SP. Because there's definitely some more humans we need to get. I can't believe they just took out Bicolette instantly like that. What the heck? You better, yeah, telekinesis their asses. Flare them. Get rid of them. Oh, no. Flare, flare, flare. You can do it. They destroyed your friend. Don't let them get away with it. You don't always want to do this 5-star thing, because they'll take more damage as well as do more damage. So this can be a little bit tricky, but I knew I, I knew it would be good. <clears throat> they can avenge. Bam, bam, bam. Get it. And you can see we get these fiend tail bonuses too, when you beat the tournament. Although we don't need fiend tail bonuses, because they're leveled up enough now. Okay, let's go to the history. We should be able to release all these guys. Okay, yes. Okay, let's read his story. Back when I was human, I was really a good-for-nothing. Just a weak, spineless, half-baked shell of a man who didn't even have the guts to be a real outlaw or villain. But somehow, even a guy like me had someone who loved me. She was a gentle, well-to-do lady. I still can't figure out why she fell for a guy like me. But she told me she did, and it made me so happy, you know? So I decided to try to become a new man for her. I mean, a classy lady like her doesn't deserve to be with some two-bit thug, right? But her parents objected, of course. Can't really say I blame them. I mean, our dates were always in Killika Woods because it was free and I could never buy her any presents. She said she didn't care about such things, but I was embarrassed that I was never able to do anything for her. So I decided I would work hard, legit, so I could buy my girl a ring. An engagement ring, that is. That's right, I decided to propose to her. I did buy a ring, but in the end, I just couldn't afford a nice expensive one. Even so, I was determined to propose to her. Even if she were to reject me, I had to let her know how I felt. Or so I thought. We had planned to meet in the woods as always, but as the moment drew near, I lost my nerve. Oh no, <laughs> I ran off before she even got there, leaving the ring behind in the ruins. Once a coward, always a coward, I guess, but I wish I had one more chance to do things over. Oh my god, okay, I cannot wait to see the scene. I cannot wait to see this. I've been afraid for so long of coming to the forest, of going past those ruins. Oh, Shinra's with him. Thanks for the support. What if that ring was still there? This time, I will relay those feelings that I couldn't before. It's not here. Oh. She's an old lady now. That's gotta be her, right? You? Could it be that you are? <gasps> the ring! That's... I knew it! I knew it was from you! You're such a fool worrying about such petty matters. Oh my god, I didn't want any lavish presents. All I wanted... All I wanted was you. My heart. 
<laughs> oh, this is so sweet. But you were a well-to-do lady. I'm just an old lady now. That feeling I couldn't relay before. Will we help him pass on to the far plane? Will you... will you stay by my side? I will. Oh, So she has him to look forward to when she goes to the far plane. I was finally able to reply. Oh, so she regretted not replying. Oh my gosh, I love that one! Okay, wait, wait, let's watch the next one. Okay, Bicolette should have one too. You guys are lucky. There aren't many Bicolettes in Spear that can use Doom. Why the face? Don't you believe me? You think I'm a liar, don't you? You want to see it? Well, I can't show it to you for nothing. Well, I guess it's not nice to keep you in suspense for too long. Just between us, back when I was a petty thief, I made a deal with the Angel of Death. I'll lend you my power. Go out and reap for me many human souls, is what he said. I gladly made the deal. I mean, I can just take out anyone I don't like, right? So I went wild. One day I messed up and died. <laughs> my partners sealed away my powers, but they forgot to send me to the far plane. The nerve of them. So anyway, I can't use Doom right at the moment, but I'll get it back, I swear. I can feel it. The seal will be broken soon. I'll have my powers back. I'll make my old associate pay for envying me and taking away my power. Oh my God. Okay, wait, please let him be able to cast Doom. Please, please let it be real and not a lie. I return to the hideout. My newly unbound power. Doom. That was what I had planned to show those traitors a taste of. Yes, that was the plan. But... Hey, come on. That's enough, don't you think? Oh my god, ruthless! <clears throat> this has gotten out of hand. Help me. This has gotten out of hand. I just wanted to scare them. Oh no, yeah, regrets. I just wanted to make them apologize for making fun of me. They knew that this would happen. That's why they stopped me. This wasn't something that could be controlled by the likes of me. How do I face them? When I see them in the far plane. God. <laughs> Don't worry. You'll never reach the far plane. What? The soul of a fiend that has sunk to the lowest depths. Such is what I crave. Oh my god, Angel of Death just, like, removed him from the entire cycle. What the heck? Oh my god, okay. Let's do our other one. Have I told you the sad tale of how my brother is frozen solid in a block of ice? Oh, this is gonna be another sad, crazy one. He did, he got freaking Thanos snapped, just deleted. No, no more cycle of life for you. It looks like this one's gonna be a crazy sad one too. Okay, frozen in a solid block of ice. 
I don't even know if he's dead or alive. But no, there's no way he kicked the bucket. We were born and raised in Gagazet. Ice is just a plaything to us. I'll never forget that cursed night. I know he was waiting for me. Let me get stronger so I can rescue him. My brother and I grew up in the snowy peaks of Gagazet. Its craggy precipice and deep snowbanks made it inhospitable for all but the toughest of creatures. I remember frigid, wintry nights when we would huddle in a cave, waiting for a blizzard to let up. We were always together, my brother and I. Five years ago, at the age of 20, I engaged in the rite of adulthood. We go alone to the mountain's crest and bathe in the morning sunlight. That is how we become adults. This holy ritual we dedicated to the faith must be done alone. I followed this rule as I set out on my journey. As I made my way to the summit, in the dead of night, the snowstorm grew even fiercer. This was the first time I had ever faced such biting cold. My legs could barely move and I began to drift off. And that's when my brother came to me. He'd been following me. We were quickly huddled to endure the cold. And then morning came. As I opened my eyes, I saw that my brother had been completely encased in ice. He was not yet of age. Surely, it was the divine punishment of the faith for breaking our sacred ritual. No matter what I did, the ice did not melt, but I know in my heart that my brother is still alive in there. Five years have passed, and my brother would now be 20. I plan to take on the right once more with him. Okay, please don't let this one be sad. Let this one be, let this one be cute. I liked the cute ring one. The snowy path that I climbed on my right of adulthood. It's been five years now. Hold on, I'll save you. I'll melt this ice away. Brother? They both the same kind of fiend. I'm sorry. <gasps> I wanted to become an adult too. Oh, he's a little one. There's no need to apologize. Come on, let's go. But for the right of adulthood, you have to climb alone. It's all right. I'll climb together with you. That's the way we do it. Oh my god, this one was so good. Do you think the faith will forgive us? If the faith don't forgive us, I'll complain. <laughs> what? Hey, now how long was I asleep? A long time. A lot has happened while you were asleep. Tell me. Hold your horses. There's plenty of time for that. Yes, brother. Maybe you should stop calling me brother. We're adults now, after all. Yes, brother. <gasps> oh my god, brother wolves. Wow. Oh, the rites of manhood completed. The silver brothers have entered the fiend arena. Okay, so we can get fiend arena unlocks from this too. All right, so that's the three that we just leveled up. Let's go trap some more. All right, oh, we got some, okay, we got some special ones. So let's go mushroom rock road and use a special. There's a human there we can get. And we got him! We can get Yibel! Alright, thanks Koneko, thanks Koneko! And we love our lurkers here, of course. Okay, there's several different humans we can get in Guado Salam. Um, so... Let's see. Oh, but I don't want to- because there's regular humans there too. Okay, actually, let's do it like this. Um, oh. Because there's some humans that we don't need to use the special on. So let's actually try to get some of those regular humans first with the small ones. Okay, recoil. That's not one of the humans, but we do need it. <clears throat> okay. Set trap pod. Oh, that's not the human either. Oh my gosh. Getting these two first instead of the humans. 
<clears throat> yes, we can allow him into the gull wings. Okay, let's go release the eyeball. All right, Yaipal, thanks for joining. All right, well, since we didn't get those humans from Guado Salam, there is another human that we can get um, in Mount Gagazet. So this particular one, you do special and you do human to get them, and you can only get them in New Game Plus. So you cannot get them um, in your first playthrough. So you do have to do a new game plus to get all of these. It's impossible to do in just one playthrough. So it's Kimari! So yes, you can get Kimari. So just like we do with all of our humans, let's go... Oh, not trap creature. Yeah, go back, go back. Let's go release him. Okay, let's go back to trapping. Let's see, what else do we want to do? Okay, we've got some mediums. We can try to get the deep Haiza again. So he should be in Makalania. There we go, got him. So we'll get to do part two of that story. Okay, and I think that fills us up on fiends again. Yes, it does, okay. So we need to fix our party. Okay, so when you have these medium ones like this, like, okay, like let's do, let's put him in our party. So you can see how when you put a medium one in your party, it like takes two slots instead of one slot. So that's the situation there. So we will put, yeah, that one and a recoil in the party. All right, Valiant Luster with Psychic like we like to do. Valiant Luster with Psychic. And for accessories, let's give him a Crystal Bangle, and let's give him Iron Duke. And we'll do the same thing for him. A Crystal Bangle and Iron Duke. And we're going to keep using the arena for leveling up these guys as well. So let's talk to Shinra. Alright, Creature Creator. Yeah, so you see, since we did that tournament, it unlocked some of those ones. Okay. But we are still doing Highway Stars. Yes. Try to get that white elemental to Oversoul. Got him. Go again. Man, Lando wasn't kidding about that Planet Zoo yesterday. I see her. I just saw her pop up on Steam playing Planet Zoo. <laughs> <laughs> she playing right now, as we speak. Thanks for the cure.
Oh, there he goes. Oversoul. Got him. Okay, let's make sure that that took and find another one that would have be available in the arena battles. Okay, yes, so that was the white elemental, got that. So yeah, so yellow and gold elementals I still need to get. Let's see. This guy should be in there. Let's try to get him. Emo, whatever you say his name. Crim Thurs or something like that. There we go, two of them. Perfect. Even faster if it's two. Got him. I have to remind myself we're just trying to get these guys to level nine. Oh, recoil already was. Okay. Hang on. Let's release him then. Okay, yes. Okay. Have you come to help me, or do you just want to use me too? I'm so tired. Nothing will come out right now. Please just... Let me rest. Uh, thank you for helping me. I ran away from the monk's manor in Bevel. My brother and I were captured in Bevel and has shown off as sideshows, as a sideshow for ages. Why? Because we brothers had a secret talent. For some reason, when we eat something, it gets turned into gill inside of our bodies. For example, if I eat this potion, it will come back out as a thousand gill. The humans captured us, made us turn out gill constantly, and even turned us into a sideshow. My older brother ate everything they gave him, producing gill in amounts several times his own weight. How could they be so cruel? I'll never forgive those humans. My brother and I only ever had each other, and now we're all alone. That's what I thought anyway, but now I've become friends with so many other fiends here. Everyone, please lend me your support. I want to avenge my brother. Oh my god, please let him avenge his brother. Please. This is another brother story. With the help from the members of Gullwing's recall, return to Bevel. And waits for the opportunity to avenge his brother. Now, step right up, step right up. See a fiend most rare and bizarre. Folks, this is not your average run-of-the-mill fiend. If you feed this one item, it'll turn into gill. How do you like that? One potion turns into a thousand gill. Eye drops, ten thousand gill. 
If you think it's too good to be true, then just take a look for only a hundred gil. So you're saying that if you, you can turn eye drops into 10,000 gil? Just watch and see. Eat it. Brother. Hurry it up. Now, here's the fun part. Now, how much gill will come out? Brother, are you watching? I'm about to avenge you. We weren't born to be mere toys for humans. Everyone, come and help me. Oh my god, he's shooting out other fiends! I've got your back! We'll run wild on these suckers! <gasps> so wait, was this- was this pers- I always thought that the snakes were Machina. I didn't think they were fiends. Oh, security! <laughs> so they're fiends? Brother, I'm heading over. But he doesn't really seem to remember being a human? Or did he throw up Gil as a human? I don't know, the way he was talking, it made it seem like he had forgotten his human life. Breaking news, a fiend assault on the t took place outside of Yevon headquarters today. Four people, including a high monk, were killed in the attack. Others suffered injuries. Oh my god, he killed four people. Well, you know. Repeat, breaking news. I mean, they did, like, fuck up his whole life. Okay, get it. Wow. Alright, let's, uh, let's fix our party. That was a crazy one. Oh my god. All right, let's put the flak python. Let's do the other one that's like that kind of fiend. Okay, valiant luster. Oh, psychic. Crystal bangle. And um, what was I putting on? Iron duke. There we go. I know everything. Okay, let's go back to fighting the Hymthras. Oh, there we go, Invincibles. What the heck? All this time I would have called the, the snake shooting things Machina, not fiends. Goodbye. Okay, I think that's the last level for him. All right, let's see. Is your fiend tail complete? Yes. All right, analysis failed. Countdown three. Shinra analysis. An unmarked machina found in the Xanarkin ruins. A machine soldier developed 1,000 years ago by the Xanarkin army during the Machina War. Clearly made from cutting-edge technology of the time. Its protection systems are coming online. Better make this quick. Analysis failed. I dragged out the target information. I figured out its objective. Destroy Bevel's fiend soldiers. I knew the activation had something to do with those fiends that escaped from the arena. I picked up the emergency signal from the arena and started up. It's looking for escaped fiends, just like it was doing a thousand years ago. Analysis failed. Countdown. One. Shenra analysis. We're running out of time. It's sending signals to Machina all over Spira in order to search for former fiend soldiers of Bevel? This can't be good. Alright. Let's get the update on that story.
Begin countdown. Zero. He exploded himself? It broke. This Machina trooper was transmitting data to machines all across Spira. The objective of the machines is to neutralize the fiend soldiers of what used to be Bavel. The Machina War of a thousand years ago? It's often a small indent that begins a great war. Or incident, or so it is told. Machines, once banned in Spira, can be found anywhere in modern times. So many machines for so many people. If the machines ever go out of control, the trust established between humans and machines after the eternal calm will evaporate, distrust will be right widespread and some humans may speak seek to use machines for nefarious purposes. Another Machina War. The tragedy that took place a thousand years ago must not be repeated. Shinra, the rest is up to you. I fight to defend Spira too, you know. What the heck? Okay, so we're gonna actually prevent another disaster with these fiend tails. Shinra's command has been input. Capture Machina Panzer. Start mission. Okay, we're gonna capture Machina Panzer. Oh, it's like a mission mission. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Machina Panzers have been acquired. Okay, we have to capture one. In okay, we can capture one. Yeah, let's get the M. Okay, Um, I think we only have one slot. Let's see what, what we have. Okay, set traps. I don't wanna use that special yet because I wanna use more small ones on the other humans. Um, but we can definitely use the large one in Thunder Plains to get that machine of Panzer. Oh, but we got a Stalwart instead. Okay. Well, we do need that anyways. Yes. I think I only had one slot. Oh, no, I have two slots. Okay. Let's try, um, okay, we have mediums. Um, we can get the mediums. Let's try in Besaid. Oh, there we go, got a Quirrell. Didn't have that one yet. Okay, let's fix our party. Let's do... Uh, let's put the Deep Heiza in. Oh, wait, no, we didn't get him. Did we? Oh, no, there he is. So I could have sworn we got him. Okay, Deep Heiza, you're in the party. And I'm gonna give him Ring for Flair and Majo's soul. I know everything. Okay. Let's go fight more of the Invincibles. Oh, there's the Oversoul. Nice. Let's get him. Secret Stamina Tonic? Why is it a secret? I mean, he's got all kind of secret items.
Why are you doing telekinesis? You should be doing flare, Mr. Heiza. They are healing so hard. Flare will take care of him. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. I guess if they telekinesis enough, eventually it'll take. But I think he should flare. That would be way better. Because it would definitely do a lot of damage. And I gave him the ring on purpose. That telekinesis is not enough. Come on, I'm rooting for you guys. Let me do- let's do this. There we go, got him. Flair would've got him faster, you guys. You need to train harder. Okay, so we got him. Um, let's see. No. All right, let's go take a peek at what's left. Okay, so that took... Um, Lesser Drake should be in there. Let's go find them. I know everything. Oh, not tournament. Just kidding, we don't need a new tournament yet. Let's see. Thunderstorms, yeah. B. Colette and Lesser Drake. Wait, is Lesser Drake what I saw? That I still needed? I probably still need Lesser Drake, but now I'm like questioning what I just saw. Hang on, let's go back and double check real quick. I know everything. Okay, yeah, yeah, Lesser Drake. I know. Oh my gosh. I didn't mean to go there. I know. There we go. Um, Battle Simulator. This one with the B. Colette and Lesser Drake. There we go. There we go, Flare, that's how we do it. Oh, and Black Python should be good, okay. Let's release him. Not right now, I'm gonna have some more after stream though. Those, the barbecue wing was really good. Oh, not trap, not trap. Wasn't where I wanted to go. Okay, we want to go and release our little gun snake. This one. My life story? Haha, <laughs> well, if you promise to keep it a secret, I chose to become a fiend. You can do that? When I was human, I was the crack sniper of Spira's most feared assassin's guild. I was Spira's best shot. I never failed to fulfill a contract that I took on. Spare no time, spare no mercy. That was my motto. 
Some contracts I took when I was human I still can't forget, like three years ago in Bevel. It was a high monk who held a lot of power within Yevon. I targeted him after a speech, though he was surrounded by guards. It was quite a risky gamble. So what happened? Of course, I fulfilled the contract, but I didn't escape unscathed. Look, even in my fiend form, I still have the scar I received on that day. So why did I choose to become a fiend? It had to do with the juicy contract I got. The target is an individual of near immeasurable power. At the time, I felt I had reached the limits of my skill, but failure is not an option in the guild. The only way I could improve my skills was to get a new body, the one you see before you right now. My body now is a gun, one which never runs out of bullets. Quick draw, automatic fire, I can do anything now. I've become the ultimate sniper. And now I have to go take care of that fat, juicy contract. Let me just tell you this. I used to take great pride in my work. My whole raison d'etre was to take on the really hard contracts and complete them. Not so much anymore though. The contract I was telling you about the other day, the target was you, Yuna. The I pretended to join your team and bided my time. I had every opportunity, but couldn't do it. This has never happened to me before. I'm not a sniper anymore, just a coward. Shinra, do what you will with me. Oh my god, he was gonna snipe Yuna! Ruda! This must be the guild? Hey, what gives Flag Python? What happened to the job we said? I must miss the last word, whatever that said. I can't do it. What? No, I'm through running. You've gained a fiend's power, yet you can't do away with one woman? I should have known you were worthless. You've really let me down. Get out of my sight. As I lost consciousness, what I remembered were not the countless years I'd spent in the assassination squad, but rather the few days I had spent with the Gullwings. It was too early to give up. Shinra! Let's get out of here together. Oh my god! They must be caught and eliminated. Run! Run, Shinra! I'll hold them off here. You go on ahead, Shinra. The gull wings are waiting for you. We'll see each other again. It was a short time, Shinra, but the time I spent traveling with you was more fulfilling than the days I spent as a crack sniper. It was warmer. Oh my god, we got an accessory for that mortal shock. The heck? I didn't know you got accessories for these. Oh, that one was kind of cool. I'm so sorry. I feel so bad because, like, obviously the guild got him. Okay, well, let's trap another. All right, we've got special, a medium, and a large. Um, let's see. We did not get the third one that started with the killer hound yet, so let's try for that. Should be Thunder Plains large. There we go, Machina Panzer. Yes. Okay, let's fix up our party. Okay, let's put the chocobo. 
in there. Let's do a crystal bangle and do we have yes, we do have iron dukes, okay. Alright, let's keep going. So what were we fighting? Oh no, not bestiary, that's not what I meant to do. Oh yeah, it was lesser drakes. There we go. Okay, while this fight goes, I just need a super quick bathroom break. I'll be right back. Y'all can watch this fight. Oversold sound when I stepped away? Oh, he doesn't look oversold. Okay, so if it was, it was for the Bicolet, so. Let's get him. There we go. Flare's the ticket. Flare's the ticket. Just keep casting that. There we go. Highs only needs, or deep highs only needs one more level. Maybe this battle. We'll do it. Hi. You want to hop up here, lady? You can come up. It's okay. Come on. Oh, there we go. Deep highs is leveled. Okay. Let's back out. Okay, we can see the conclusion to the pure aqua, whatever it was called. I don't remember. Okay, here we go. Hey, let me go this instant. I can't believe I was caught by the likes of you. I've got a big task to accomplish, the Clear Aqua Project. Maybe you've heard of it. Don't you know that Spira's animals, fish, and birds are about to die because of the machines? Look at what they've done to me. I'm nothing but skin and bones. What the? 
hey, lately I've been on fire. Let me share with you, share one of my rants with you. People say these hovercrafts are so convenient, but what I say to that is bah. Those blasted machines have made it so that Meehan High Road is no longer dotted with travelers. You humans, especially the machine faction, you don't know what you're getting yourselves into. I can feel power welling up inside me. Time to stick it to those Albed Cretans. We'll bust into Jose Temple and give those machine lovers a good thrashing. Time to get what you deserve for thrusting in your machines and crossing nature. Feel the Heiza's wrath. Okay, let's see the Heiza's wrath. The path to Jose Temple, the headquarters of the machine faction, to put an end to the machine production that is polluting the river. We strike at the heart of their operation today. Ah! <laughs> Team Clear Aqua Project has arrived. Does two really count as a team? Ow! Intruder detected. <laughs> Moving to neutralize. <laughs> well, it didn't take long to be surrounded. Cursed machines, we shall settle this once and for all. We'll show you the true power of the Heiza. Machine faction, are you watching this battle? If things go on this way, Spear will become dependent on machines for everything. Once that happens, it may not be just this river we lose, but far more important things. Whoa, what's that? Looks pretty rowdy. Supposedly, it's an anti-machine rally. Oh, well, I guess you'd better bring out the... You know. You're in the zone, old man! Yes, I am. Let's use this momentum to storm Jose Temple. What? Old man! Uh, <laughs> what the heck? Old man! My finishing move! Oh no. Old man! I think his finishing move finished him instead of the other. Couldn't even make it inside. Old man, talk to me! Are you alright? Is that a potion for them? They've got guts, that's for sure. Thanks to the medicine provided by the machine faction, the old man survived. Ugh, I have my revenge next time. We weren't able to strike inside Jose Temple, but maybe our message was heard. A little. I hear it, I hear it. Maybe this many machines is too many machines. Me and the old man will continue to work on the Clear Aqua project. There's give and take, there's give and take to everything. All right, working towards cleaner spear, the clear aqua squad has entered the fiend arena. All right, let's get trap pot M. Okay, actually, I think if I go into the fiend arena, I don't have to back all the way out. Oh no, that's oh organized team. There we go. Okay, so we've got the chocobo in there, but I think let's do let's put Machina Panzer in there, just by itself. All right, let's see what you can do. Oh, there's the Oversoul, nice. Wow, Machina Panzer's fast. I 
I liked the Heise story. That was a good one. Shows that there is an environmental angle to everything going on in Spira right now. Okay, let's back out. And let's look, let's go look at um, the bestiary and see who maybe we could do next. I know everything. <laughs> okay, Quirrell should be in there. We could do that one. I know everything. <clears throat> Should be one called Blasters, yeah. Two coils and a wild wolf, let's go. I almost got them all before they even got to do anything. Man, he's strong. Oh, the blaster still works on him. That sucks. He's probably going to die. Oh, he didn't die. Oh, that was surprising. I thought for sure the Quirrell was going to take him out. Yeah, take out the coils first. There we go, that's how you do it. Come on, Oversoul. Oh, there's the Oversoul. I was just to say, Oversoul's got to be coming soon. There we go. Okay, let's go check the bestiary again and see if there's any others that would be there. I know everything.
stalwarts probably in there, but yeah. <laughs> Is there something easier? Let's see. Haiza. Okay, Haiza should be in there. I know everything. Yeah, let's do this one with the two Heises. Should happen fast. So we'll see if we get this Oversoul first, or if we get our Machina, um, what is this? Yeah, Machina Panzer's Fiend Tail first. Okay, let's do Machina Panzer's Fiend Tail. All right, analysis failed. Deactivation countdown three. Shinra analysis. The Machina Panzer has been in operation for a thousand years. It's received logs from its information pods and processing large quantities of military information. If I can bypass its protection and reconfigure the information it's sending... Analysis failed. Deactivation countdown 2. Shinra analysis. I've discovered information being sent from scrapped ma Machina soldiers. Fiend soldiers from Bevel confirmed destroyed on site highest priority. It's received orders to eliminate all former Bevel fiend soldiers that have escaped the arena. Analysis failed. Deactivation countdown 1. Shinra analysis. When the attack program is initiated, the, mach the Machina will seek out and destroy the fiends. Some Machina go berserk in combat mode. That's why I have to get rid of this protection. I've almost bypassed it. Just a little more. Okay, let's see the exciting conclusion of what's going on with these Bevel machines. Or Xanarkin machines attacking the Bevel fiends, I guess. So Xanarkin did have some Machina. Protection deactivated. Access to the data transmission granted. Heh. I'll change the program. Can you do it, Shinra? Program alteration denied. Oh god. Input lockout. Force logout. Fail. Emergency situation. The wolf fiend that escaped from the arena has been spotted in the Thunder Plains. Machina soldiers are gathering in the Thunder Plains. What? Scramble the airship! What's happening? It's like a Machina parade. More and more Machina are gathering by the minute.
We have to stop them. <gasps> it's the killer hound! End of the line? Target acquired. Attack mode standby. Hold on a sec. You guys are of the same species. This fiend was created by the Bavel army one a thousand years ago. It's a man-made fiend with a machine chip embedded in it. You guys aren't to blame. I can see the future. <laughs> what, Shinra? <gasps> After the Machina War, the teachings of Yevon forbade the use of machines. The eternal calm was to be a new age for machines as well. Humans and machines working together to build the future. Shinra's compassion has been received. Attack protocols deactivated. Oh, he did it with the power of love. Spira's future together. It's all you. Most promising. Machin, how you get all the way up there? It would be most gratifying to see this new spear come to fruition. We got a lot of different angles here. I can't yet depart for the far plane. I mean, but what about if there's too many machines and it wrecks the environment? We gotta be careful. Oh, but we got an episode complete! Nice. I guess because it, it was a mission. Oh, and an adamantite! Okay, sweet. That's another way to get an adamantite. Yes, I do want Trap Pot M. Okay. We saw so many fiend tales today, you guys. We're going to go save, um, and that's the last one we're going to do for the stream today. We've got lots more in Chapter 1, though, lots more fiend tales. So, um, and next week, it is an all Final Fantasy X-2 stream, okay? So next week, we're going to be streaming it for both Saturday and Sunday streams. So come back for that if you want to see more fun fiend tales. These are awesome. I can't wait to see more. Um, all right, you guys, for y'all watching the recording on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.